What's going on YouTube? Back once again in the shed and I welcome you to another review. Thank you for joining me. I've been about for a while. You need to take a little bit of downtime. My mate died and hit me pretty hard. And then I just let things fall behind. You know what it's like. The more you let things fall behind, the harder it is to catch back up. But it's time for me to come out of my cave and start fighting and living and doing all that stuff. So here I am. You're still out there. Thank you very much. Got some new pipes. Thanks to me old buddy in Romania, Silvio. He sent me this lovely Scotty pipe with a Meerschaum line bowl. Love it. He sent me a couple of other pipes as well, but I'll show them at the beginning of another video. Today, this one's getting all the all the frame. In it, I got some Gareth Hogoff. Um, exclusive black cherry because I found a little pipe shop I was going to do a little video of me going up there but when I went there he wouldn't let me film because he was just restocking and getting rid of what he had and, and all the jars were empty so look look out for that in the future in a month or two it should be an interesting video I'm going to try and build here um Lost my pipe knife, so I'm using this K Woody one that I got from somewhere. But I'm gutted I lost my pipe knife, but I have been eyeing up in some of the tobacco shops. They got the same uh, Roger Field, is it? Sh no, Shefferfield, Roger, something knife. But they got the ones with the wooden handles, but they're about 50 quid. I couldn't justify buying one if I had a perfectly good <laughs> knife there, so I might pick myself up one of them. Apart from that, there's not a lot else to report, really. I'm alright. Trucking along, and I'm going to start banging out some videos. So, today you get a two for one. Today we are doing. Oriental and Oriental Extra by Toke. Yeah. I decided to do them both together. But I'm worried it may make this video run a bit long. But it is a two for one. So let's see how it goes. Oriental tobacco is a highly aromatic small leaf tobacco plant. that is sun cured on purposely built racks. The oriental tobacco plant grows to only about four foot tall in comparison to the 10 foot tall stature of mid-Atlantic varieties. Tobacco plants like Virginia grow up to 20 to 24 large broad leaves. Oriental plants grow hundreds of small leaves which is an adaptation to the environment. Having so many leaves means that they can create cover and shade for the leaves below. The leaves being so small mean that the plant is labour intensive, meaning that every small leaf needs to be stitched together before sun curing and then they need to be unstitched before being used as tobacco in tobacco blends. The name Turkish is used because it was originally grown within the Ottoman Empire, but it is now grown from the Black Sea coast of Turkey, Egypt, South Africa and other places. Tobacco was brought to the Ottoman Turks from the Americas by the Spanish. Over time they developed their own methods of growing and using tobacco. Many early brands of cigarettes were made using oriental tobacco. Brands like Murad and Fatima in the US and Sullivan and Powell and Benson's and Hedges in the UK. Tastes changed in Europe 
and the US and moved towards the use of Virginia tobaccos. Oriental tobacco is still used in cigarettes branded as Turkish tobaccos. And Oriental tobacco is extensively used and appreciated throughout the pipe community and is used in many pipe tobacco blends. I'm going to start off with Oriental. I may kick through this one pretty quick just to uh, keep the length of the video down but this one is the just pure oriental tobacco nothing more nothing less okay so it's a very pale pale light brown um, it's very fine like very silky powdery fine and it is very dry. I don't think there's, if any, moisture. There's none, if any, any whatsoever. It's just dry, powdery, sort of, you know, gone. So you ain't going to be taking this outside on a windy day. And you want to be a bit careful if you're a beginner or, you know, if you haven't got your technique, you know, solid. And you struggle with them. Um... On the tin note, it's really, I've been really trying to find some like different words to use to describe it, but it does smell like a fresh pack of cigarettes when you open them up. It's got a little bit of sort of a sweet tinge to it, but it's quite a savoury tobacco scent. Okay, so let's jump into the bumps. Alright, this one, I find it's got little to no burn. It's got a little bit of that very fine, dry, uncomfortable feeling, but it's not like a nicotine burn. Um, yeah, it smells like cigarette tobacco it's very clean very fresh it's got a kind of you know like a I want to say sort of sandalwood like you know it smells like plant matter but it doesn't smell like dead plant matter you know it doesn't smell damp it smells more like, I don't know, kind of floral-like, grass, hay, you know. It's not perfumey, not like, like lavender floral, you know what I mean? But it's like a living plant matter smell. As I say, it is very fine. So you got to be careful as you take it, but... It can be done. Nicotine is probably medium ish. I, I wouldn't say it's got a great deal of nicotine in the Oriental. Yeah, it's it's alright. This one I would say it falls into the great uh, good but not great category. So it's okay. You might very well like it, but it's a very sort of soft, subtle smell. Like, you have got to look for it a little bit. Um, yeah, so good, but not great is where this one's going to sit. But let's jump over to the uh, Oriental Extra. Because, as I said, with this one, it's a very sort of subtle, you've got to find it sort of scent. This one is the Oriental Tobacco, but it's got a little bit of lemon in it and some Rustica added to it. So, I think the reason why it's only got a very little something added to it is because, because the scent of the Oriental is very subtle. I think it could very easily get overtaken with any other sort of toppings that were put with it. So, I think that's why. But, this one to look at is, you know... Identical to the other one. 
pale light brown, very fine, very dry, silky, dusty, powdery, identical. Put them next to each other, you would not be able to tell the difference. So, is that the same up the nose? Let's see. No. When you bump this one, you do get a little bit of a nip burn on this one. Which, as we know, I like, so that's a good thing for me. And you get that little touch of lemon. But that little touch of lemon makes all the difference. I mean, it makes all the other flavours within this oriental tobacco pop. It's very light. It's not heavy in the nose, as you can see. I'm jumping too snus. I haven't blown my nose yet. It's not, you know what I mean, uncomfortable in the nose. And it's got, again, it's got a lot of similar scents. It does smell like cigarette tobacco. It does smell like the wood and the florally living plant matter smell. It's got a kind of sandalwoody sent to it but it's it's very nice again it's fine so you want to be careful but you know it's doable as I say with this one you, you take that bump and you first of all you get a little sh little twinge of lemon and then that fades down but it just makes a base for all them other scents to sit on and for me it just makes the, the different lev layers of the tobacco scent easier to pick up the added rustica obviously ups the nicotine a fair bit so this one is quite high in Nick, I'd say. It makes my head tingle a little bit when I keep taking it. And because it's very fine and very dry, it means that the capillary um, capillaries in your nose or nasal area can absorb that nicotine all the faster. So it means that the nicotine hitting your brain is going to be um, all the more impactful. But, um, yeah, it's nice. Like I say, a sandal woody cigarette, um, fresh tobacco cigarette, cigarette tobacco scent, um, with sort of like a florally plant mattery grass, you know, like, like walking in a field. That sort of floral not sticking your face in a flower type of floral I don't even know if floral is quite the right name for it but it makes me it brings to my mind sort of living grass rather than sort of dead wet damp grass and leaves if you know what I'm saying yeah so this one I'm gonna recommend the oriental extra because i think this one is much better than the first one this is my preferred of the two but that's not to say the, the oriental is bad because it's not but i think this one's got a few more tricks up its sleeve and it's all the better for it so there you go oriental okay but not great but the oriental extra it grew on me when i first tried it i wasn't too it was a little underwhelmed but it definitely grew on me and i've been using it quite a bit this one the oriental extra so that's all i got for you really um hopefully this video is not rolled on too long i tried to kind of bash through that <laughs> a little bit to try and keep the time down but you know i thought i'd pop back in And, uh, I'm right. As I said, 
close mate of mine died. And then I got down and depressed. And you know when things, you just let things pile up. And then everything was, I was behind. And I just took my time to get back on it. And, you know, got a new camera and some new mics. So thank you to old Factory Snuff, old Sam and Jenny out there. Wow, guys, thank you. They helped me get this camera and this um, mic. And... <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's, uh, I, I can't thank you enough. It just goes to show. Give a little, you get tenfold back. I can't say much more than that, really. But thank you, guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, Sylvie, for my uh, pipes. I love them, mate. Honestly, I've barely used any of my other pipes since I got them. They are amazing. If I can get it lit. But no. It's probably rolling on now. So I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to say remember to tap, pinch and toot. Because that's three ingredients to your enjoyment. And your enjoyment is all i got for you. So remember to come back to the shed. And until then. I shall bid you farewell. Thank you.